now, your news on the go. Hey, welcome back. After serving only four months in federal prison, two Syracuse area developers have been released. Now, according to prison records, Stephen Aiello and business partner Joseph Girardi, founders of Core Development, were released on Saturday. Aiello was serving a three-year sentence, Girardi two-and-a-half-year sentence. The men were convicted for being involved in a bid-rigging scheme involving bribery of a top aide in the Cuomo administration. Syracuse police are amping up patrols to crack down on illegal fireworks today. Remember, in New York State, firecrackers, bottle rockets, and Roman candles are illegal. Ground-based fireworks like poppers, snappers, and handheld wood sparklers, those are legal. Some local towns and villages have stricter rules, so make sure to check any local laws before shooting off those fireworks. And if you do plan to set off some fireworks at home, there are some safety tips you should be aware of. Always follow any directions on the packaging. Never give fireworks to small children. Never point fireworks towards people, pets, cars, or houses. And keep water close by. Wear eye protection. Light one firework at a time. And never relight a dud. And when you're done, store any unused fireworks in a cool, dry place. If fireworks at home aren't your style, we got a list of the best spots to watch fireworks in central New York. We got it posted for you right now on localsyr.com. Well, in addition to fireworks, police across the state are cracking down on drunk and distracted drivers today. If you plan on drinking, do not get behind the wheel. That's the message. Before starting to celebrate, plan a safe ride home or use a ride sharing service like Uber or Lyft. In 2020 alone, nearly 500 people died in car crashes over the July 4th weekend. And if you are getting ready to head out on the road, let's check those gas prices this morning. On average in Syracuse, we're paying 4.88 per gallon, 1 cent less than the state average of 4.89. Well, racing to end ovarian cancer. Today is the 14th annual Teal There's a Cure Race and Walk in Marcellus. The event honors Maureen O'Hara, who lost her long battle with ovarian cancer a few years back. The 5K run and walk starts at 8 this morning at Marcellus Park. The awards ceremony is at 9.